Let's unpack this research onion a little further to better understand how our ontological and epistemological views shape our approach to research. The research onion outer layer relates to our philosophy, our ontological perspective, whether we believe there is an objective reality or not, and our epistemology, how we believe we can come to know knowledge given our ontology. Those accepting there is an objective reality more likely will adopt a positivist, objective or interpretative perspective. Those arguing there is no objective reality will adopt more of an epistemological position that is subjectivist, pragmatic, functionalist or either a radical humanist or radical structuralist. The next layer of our research onion concerns whether we adopt a deductive or inductive approach. A deductive approach is based on a positive perspective that is since there is an objective reality that can be measured, we can predict an outcome of an intervention by establishing a hypothesis to be tested. And that's how we would approach gaining knowledge about the phenomenon under investigation. On the other hand, an inductive approach proceeds from an ontological position that we cannot know that there is an objective reality. Therefore, we need to observe the phenomenon in order to gain knowledge about that which we are studying. So the third layer from the outside of our research onion rel relates to the strategies we adopt given our philosophical position and our choice of deductive or inductive approaches. If we adopt a deductive approach, our strategies for coming to understand and know more about the phenomenon under investigation might be experimental. A survey involving rating scales or ranking items or case studies. As we move to a more inductive approach, we're more likely to adopt research designs that involve action research, grounded approaches, or even ethnographic research where we observe and become part of the community that we wish to study. The fourth layer from the outside layer of the research onion concerns the research approaches, where we adopt a mono method involving one research approach, mixed methods where we combine both qualitative and quantitative approaches, and then multi-methods. The fifth layer from the outside of the research onion talks about the time horizons. Will we conduct the research at one point in time, which is cross-sectional, or over a long period of time to observe changes over time, and that's longitudinal research. And the inner layer of the research onion is determined by those outer layers. That is, our choice of how to collect and analyse the data is shaped by our philosophy, the choices, strategies and approaches we take, the period of time we choose to undertake our research. So a positivist approach will more likely lead to experimental designs which would require statistical analysis to demonstrate the significance of an intervention whereas an objectivist stance will shape more qualitative approaches which may or may not involve mixed or multi-methods. But if we do collect quantitative data, it would generally be accompanied by qualitative data designed to answer the how and why questions, which quantitative data cannot answer. If a mono-method qualitative approach has been adopted, our analysis will involve qualitative techniques such as content analysis, thematic analysis, or discourse analysis. If we adopt a mixed or multi-methods approach, we may incorporate some statistical analysis, but it would always be accompanied with qualitative analysis.